On December 1st, 2020, we lost the Arecibo Observatory forever. The 900-ton suspended platform containing the receiving equipment and the feed collapsed onto the 305-meter reflector bowl. This resulted in the complete destruction of the famous radio telescope. Arecibo's problems began in August, when one of the auxiliary cables used to support the platform snapped. This resulted in damage to the reflector bowl. The agency that operates the observatory, the National Science Foundation, planned to carry out repairs. But unfortunately, on November 6th, one of the main cables attached to the same tower snapped. An examination conducted after this showed that the telescope's structure was unstable and could collapse at any moment, and repairs could not be carried out without risking the lives of workers. So the NSF management decided to decommission the telescope. It was supposed to be done by a controlled explosion, which would have saved a certain part of the complex. In particular, the LIDAR used for atmospheric research, as well as the information center for visitors. But in the end, the platform collapsed without outside help. The Arecibo Observatory was put into operation in 1963. Over the years, the unique radio telescope has made many important discoveries, from measuring the period of Mercury's axial rotation to tracking near-Earth asteroids. It was he who sent the famous message to representatives of alien civilizations into space. The complex can be seen in a number of famous films, such as GoldenEye and Contact. Even after the Chinese fast radio telescope, with a reflector diameter of 500 meters, began operating in 2016, some of Arecibo's characteristics have not been surpassed. The loss of Arecibo was certainly a big blow, not just to professional astronomers, but to many ordinary people who are simply interested in space. The observatory has long been a symbol of modern science and our quest to uncover the secrets of the universe.